This year, Australians will get their first chance to drive the Lexus LC500 in drop-top form when the LC convertible lands on our shores in a few months' time. It's only the third ever convertible the Japanese brand has produced in its 30-year history. And while we can't give it a proper first drive just yet, we have the next best thing, an in-person early look at the Lexus LC convertible. Come with me. This car made its debut in production form at the 2019 Los Angeles Auto Show, and we've been anticipating its arrival since Lexus confirmed it would come to Australia way back in November 2019. On appearances alone, this thing clearly delivers the goods. It's in a limited edition paint shade called Structural Blue, and all up, less than 10 units will be available in Australia in this exact shade. But don't worry, there'll be other paint options available. Lexus claims this color is more blue than anything seen before, thanks to 300 billion tiny flakes of pigment, which make it look like it's changing color with the light. Up close, the paint actually has a very interesting finish. Depending on where you're standing, it can look satin, it can look matte, it can even look gloss, and it just depends on where your line of vision is sitting. My only qualm is that they didn't call it blue steel in honor of Zoolander, because I like to think that if this car was a person, it would certainly be a male model named Derek. While its coupe cousin offers a hybrid drivetrain, the LC500 convertible will have only one option when it lands, and that's a 5-litre V8 engine producing 351 kilowatts of power and 540 newton metres of torque. We'll show you how that all sounds shortly. The engine sends power to the rear wheels only via a 10-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters on the steering wheel. In profile, this thing looks fantastic. It's muscular but not chunky, it's substantial but streamlined, and it's of course very sexy, which let's be honest is kind of a prerequisite for being a convertible in the first place. Plus, even the door handles are elegant. Check it out. Back here, you've got all these strong angular lines that taper into a small but tasteful LC500 badge. And underneath here, you've even got a small boot with just enough room for a set of golf clubs. Now, I think we're long overdue for a look at the interior, so let's go check that out. Now, if you want your car's interior to match the exterior, you could opt for this blue and white leather interior trim, which is Gorgeous and has a very French Riviera feel to it, but not so easy to keep clean. So if you're a little bit like me and you're worried about spilling your snacks in the car, then you also have the option of a red, black or ochre uh, interior. You'll also notice that there are four seats in this car, although the back seats uh, aren't super comfortable. In fact, there's a bit more room given to the Mark Levinson speaker in the back seat. Um, I think it'd be good for shorter trips, but maybe not for long family road trips. Your kids might go a little bit insane. I love the leather handle details on the seats. And if you cast your eyes just here, you'll see one of my favorite features in the car, which is an adjustable neck heater, which you can customize depending on the length of your neck. Because you know, you haven't really made it in life until you have a customizable neck heater in your car. Now, of course, the test of any good convertible is its roof. The Lexus LC500 convertibles is made from wrinkle-free fabric and Lexus claims it can be raised or lowered in 15 seconds at speeds of up to 50 kilometers an hour. And now, of course, the moment we've all been waiting for. What does it sound like? Let's turn it on. Local pricing for the LC convertible is yet to be confirmed, but when it does land, you can probably expect it to sit above the LC Coupe, which starts at around $190,000 plus on-road costs. Of course, stay tuned to caradvice.com.au for the full launch review when it lands. And if you have any questions in the meantime, be sure to let us know.